Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we're gonna to take a look at the latest update to Samsung Home. Now, we needed this update. It was actually causing a few issues from before, especially with animations. It was also taking away from some features that we used to have, especially coming from GoodLock. Now, the latest update to Samsung Home, the version is 15.0.055. I was able to find this one on my Galaxy Z Fold 5 first. I was able to extract it. I put it on my Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it's working perfectly the way it's supposed to. So if you also want to have the early version here, I have the APK. I'll be listing it below the video inside the description. So this is the APK. I'll just put that link below if you want to download it. If not, you can just wait a few more days and hopefully your phone will be updated. You'll be able to find the update anywhere that you press on the home screen that's empty. Then you tap on settings. As you scroll all the way down, you just tap on about home screen. And right here, it should say that there's an update if there is one, but this is the latest one. So one of the issues that they were talking about from beforehand was the animation. So animations in Samsung One UI 6 is supposed to go back to where that little widget is. And also there could be a few other anom anomalies of different issues with animations, but this was the main one here. So originally, let's say that I tapped on this widget on the top, it's supposed to go right back to the top, but the issue is that it just goes right down to the bottom. So I have another one over here, it's kind of in the middle and it does go right back to where it was. It kind of brings in the animation there. Originally with the problem, it would just kind of show up towards the bottom and that's it. It's not really that great or grand of a thing, but some people do love animations and this brand new home update does fix this. The other thing that it also brings is more features that maybe you would want to grab off of good lock. So here is task changer. Task changer is a way that you're able to change the way that it looks on the very bottom when you bring up all of your different applications. Now, originally I took a screenshot before this update. These were the only two options that you had with the previous version of Samsung home. You only had two options. It was list and grid. Now, some people love stack vertical list or even slim list. And even if you did have some of these and you put it in mini mode, sometimes it would kind of break later on, unless if you restarted your phone, and maybe even if you restarted your phone, it would actually still go back to the old version of the recent applications and not the one that you chose here. So you might have just turned this thing off. So basically, I wanted to show you that you now are able to pretty much use any of these different layout types from before. So here's that vertical list. Here is the slim list. So if I tap on that, it's going to give me my slim list. Here's your regular list. Here's the grid. Uh, and then also you have the stack. So if you want to see what the grid looks like, it looks like this. So let's say that you wanted to maybe do the stack and you wanted mini mode. So now it's just going to be on the very bottom and this is going to be your stack. So again, if you want to have the latest APK of your Samsung home, just to let you know what it is, the latest version is 15.0.0.5.5. If you want it, I placed the link below the video inside the description. Simply click on it. Uh, you know, say yes to all the different permissions that you're able to install an APK from Google Drive, and then you're able to get it downloaded on your phone. And if you don't want to download it, you don't have to. Again, just wait maybe a few days and you'll possibly be able to see it. But some of the other stuff that you will also possibly notice is when you go inside of GoodLock, there's going to be more updates to some of the other modules as well. So if you haven't checked GoodLock in the last few days, you'll notice that there's a few different updates, some of them up on the very top over here. You also had Navstar, Home Up, Clock Face, that was up updated on life up. I know that sound assistant was updated. I believe maybe one more as well. And these were all within just the very last few days. So to kind of take a look back at a few of the different applications that were updated, or I should say modules, I did take a screenshot. So originally, yeah, right before the update, sound assistant had it. Also too, again, Navstar home up clock face also had an update. I believe one or two on the very top had it as well too. But that was everything that I wanted to share with you today is that I do have the APK listed below the video inside the description. You can download it or you can just wait a few days. Basically, helps with the animations. It's supposed to do exactly what it's supposed to do rather than being broken and also making sure some of the modules, especially some of the features that maybe you were wanting to have, especially inside of GoodLock, you now have all the options that you want when it comes down over into your task changer. You know, if you'd like to have it to be big, small, mini mode, if you want it to be stack, if you want it to be, you know, pretty much whatever you want it to be, uh, you'd be able to now do all of that inside of Home Up. So again, task changer, you have all the options you're able to choose now, no problems. Uh, and that's pretty much it for for today's video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.